The bomber jacket has proved to be such an enduring design because it was founded out of function. And because of that, uh, it's stuck around uh, even outside of its military origins. The clean lines and simple detailing really flatter most men. And the silhouette is very malleable. Many designers have done their own takes on, on the silhouette without collars, with, without pockets, but it's maintained a pretty flexible uh, palette for most designers to work with. Who made me want to wear a bomber jacket was Bruce Weber. Uh, more specifically, the world Bruce created through his camera. There was this black and white photograph that I saw probably when I was in high school of a young man in a bomber that just looked, Bruce captured it in a real beautiful way. And there was just a romance about it. And uh, from that point on, I had to, I wanted to get one. I like to wear my bomber jacket with chinos, cable knit sweater, rep tie, Oxford cloth button down shirt. Pretty preppy traditional pairing with the, with the jacket, so. The bomber jacket's not always a casual item. It can be worn with a tie. Uh, in fact, I often wear mine with a tie and sweater. Uh, the bomber gives this preppy combination um, a different attitude. It toughens it up a bit. The military associations with the bomber jacket are something that I think this piece shares with most of the pieces men wear. Uh, most of our men's wear comes from either the sporting world or military. And when young guys would come home from World War II, they were mixing their military pieces with a lot of their athletic and preppy elements on campus when they went back to college. Uh, at that point, the bomber kind of was folded into that vernacular of American menswear. For me, the ultimate bomber jacket would be Schott's Perfecto brand A2. It's made here in America uh, out of lambskin, like the originals were. Uh, also forgoes the sheep fur lining uh, and maintains a lot of the classic details. For men unsure of how to wear a bomber jacket, I would recommend pairing it with sportswear pieces like rugby jerseys. Uh, or even luxurious softer fabrics like cashmere cable knit sweaters. Uh, it's really about surrounding the rugged leather with color and softer fabrics.